Welcome back. We're in the danger zone, man. We're in chapter 13. <gasps> we are. Um, okay, I'm just going to crack straight on. Yep. Jewel was pacing around in the port. Ha 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 ha. Already. I see a note and I'm like, oh, oh, oh yeah, shit. <gasps> a new <nude> sprain! <laughs> <laughs> Let's try that again. We're doing chapter 13. Seeker. Jewel was pacing around in the port quarantine zone. The deep conifer scents from her newly fresh garb caressed her nostrils. Not a bad alternative to her usual preset four. They'd completed transit within standard parameters and made an uneventful flight through the Archaos system. Relying on the well-monitored, well-secured primary homeworld vicinity, she'd set her wake-up revival as late as possible. She'd revive Fortune once they were well in the atmosphere and treated him with a detour with full external display while she was negotiating their docking details and ordering ground transport. Now she was having second thoughts about turning down the obscenely overpriced refreshments and entertainment package. Let's pause there for a sec. Yes. So here, uh, I might attack one sentence. I might want to make the... Uh, not a bad alternative for the presets for I might uh, move that into a an inner thought or, or try to make that sentence uh, smaller <coughs> I mean faster I mean shorter <laughs> <laughs> the she revived fortune sentence it might just be me but it feels long she revived fortune once they were well in the atmosphere and treated him with a detour with full external display while she was negotiating their docking details and ordering ground transport yeah, I will. I will look into it. And also, I need to change ground transport because it's not all that ground at all. Because it's it's some sort of cable thingy, cable and or levitation. So I'll 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 have to think about it. I might just change ground to surface. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, it's vague enough. And also, there was this point where I was sort of weighing between wake up and revival because the wake up for me sort of implies sleep, and I want to sort of stress all the time that stasis isn't sleep. Mm. But I'm I'm probably overthinking it. I think revival fits better. Although when you say revival, it's like bringing someone back to life. We need like a, a happy medium. Yeah, and it's it's not even bringing back in back to life. It's more like uh, uh, <laughs> getting the reality back in gear. Mm. So in so in the in that sense, yeah. in that sense, wake up is actually sort of acceptable because uh, it doesn't it doesn't make you pause or think too much. I think the concern is legitimate, though. Mhm. Mm I feel I ages ago we had this with a with one word <laughs> that was like there there is a word that exists. I'm so sure of it, but it's between these two other mm -hmm. words. I'm like oh, I can't I can't remember it, and then we got it, and it was like oh yeah, of course it was there. <laughs> <laughs> it eludes okay. me right now. <laughs> Six more killer sec. She glanced at Fortune. He'd spread himself a across a bore leather lounge chair, his eyes closed and his face calm. Annoyingly so. Jewel groaned. How can you sit so quietly? Fortune half opened his eyes. I've had a lot of practice in the bowels of justice. Perhaps I've grown accustomed to handling the idle time. She stretched and yawned with gusto. At least the hygiene services are on the house. Thoughtful, isn't it? Jewel grinned. See those panels? They've got the excretion ports hooked up with diagnostics. You get free grooming, they get an easy scan of your bodily fluids. I've seen several big ports doing that lately. Trust me, if they picked up some license-only substances, we'd already be in processing, receiving a nice fat bill. She settled into a chair next to Fortune and unfolded her data pad. With a mental eye roll, she opened the message archive. A waste of time was exactly what she needed right now. Okay, so I'm going to remove lately from here. Uh, yeah, 
Yeah, I think overall... I, I like this bit. Yeah, I don't want to poke it. If I start poking it, then I will definitely find something, but I think it's it's in this blissful state of good enough. <laughs> mm. <laughs> let, me, uh, let me change that. Some jewel reaction. Oh, yeah. I always love a bit of jewel reaction. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is text on the screen, so I'm just going to read this as text on the screen. I'm not going to mm -hmm. be like. Yo, what up? I am a computer. <laughs> <laughs> Via Prospin4 node 0223 to any seeker in vicinity of Pros1 requesting assistant on, assistance on active contract, willing to split bounty three ways, reply directly to skip. Via Proscom node 6964 this is a limited one-time proposition for your eyes only. For a modest sum, skip. Via Proscom node six nine six four. Bring me half and I'll let you keep a small cut. Don't, and I'll come after you. Jewel stared at the words, dumbfounded. Then her mind caught up with what she was reading. The cockface! She snapped the data pad shut in distaste. Fortune Fortune turned his head and opened one eye. What's happening? Jewel groaned. There's this guy from my hub. Call sign Wraith. Major asshole. He's been following me. Uh, I'm just going to delete that. Boop. Okay. Uh, yeah, and carry on because the right. dialogue carries on. Fortune gave her a puzzled look. If he's like you, why is he after you? Like me? She jumped up. He's a contract stealing, dirty bounty fuck face. She took a few angry steps and sat back down. Anyway. It's you he's really after. Try to collect you at Trelasi Pool, and then buy off the processing clerks. She sighed. I don't know. Her, I don't know why he's so persistent this time. I admit there might be a bit of uh, unhealthy rivalry between us, but he shouldn't even know about this contract. What are you gonna do? Take you home, of course, and ignore him. I report his ass to seek a council once I'm back at Rystar State. Hey, you all right? Why can't they just leave us be? Fortune had sat up, his nostrils flared and his knuckles turned white from gripping his seat's edge. I'm, I'm sorry. His harsh stare softened a little. It's just that the mere idea of being chased, it takes me back. Jewel nodded and quietly waved an assistant bot over. Okay. I like. It's really easy to imagine this scene as well. Mm -hmm. right. And Jewel, Jewel's reaction is entirely like it's so. Because of the journey we've taken with her through the book, this is exactly what you'd expect from her almost, you know. So mm -hmm. nicely done. Yeah, uh, I think there there might be certain formatting issues here that make reading it more difficult I don't know I think let's leave it be and if somebody picks something up <sighs> yeah there's this bit up here um, I'm not sure and this is prob it's probably best this way but the what's happening dual groaned that's Fortune saying what's happening, right? Yeah. It needs to be like this. Hmm. So, yeah, that makes uh, it clearer. And and like this, I think. She snapped the data pad shut in distaste. Fortune turned his head and opened one eye. What's happening? Jewel groaned. There's this guy from my hub. Call sign right. Yeah, that's that's much better. Yeah, because uh, right now the way I've uh, I've set up the formatting is that when there's a dialogue, then whenever the other person starts either saying something or doing something, I'll start a new line. Mhm. Mm and I think I've either 
I don't know. I don't know why why I had it all in the same uh, chunk like this. It's probably just like you know, like the the. Mm -hmm. Does that mean you know? Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Really when missed. I have when I have switched around sentence parts and then ended up with uh, some sort of spliced mutant. I'm glad you got what I meant when I said the the because that's the weirdest <laughs> sentence. <laughs> Oh, and we're making a sister bot all one word now as well, aren't we? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Are we capitalising or not? Mm -mm. Okay. It's, uh, it's more like... Mm, it's like golf cart. You, would, you wouldn't capitalise a golf cart. <laughs> <laughs> Fair comparison. <clears throat> yeah, I think uh, I will leave it be. Alright, cool. Carry on. She kept slurping the overpriced chai until she saw Fortune giving her a little nod from behind his mug. Do you ever wonder what this was, what it was all about? All the time. His eyes were still burg burning with silent rage. Whoever orchestrated this, it was definitely personal. Huh. She all couldn't help herself. I figured someone just wanted to mess with Maxis and his business. She tried to remember what the papers had said. When you were about to come out with some fancy new patent? More like a prototype. Fortune cracked a micro smile. And yes, obstructing our Ponics innovations probably made some competitors very happy. But if their goal was to harm the business, there'd been easier ways to do that. Cheaper ways. He stared into his mug and sighed. What they did to me was elaborate, precise, outwardly legitimate looking, the general order of business remains undisturbed, yet the impact on both our parents is maximised. Jewel grunted in agreement and pushed the tide of emergent questions to the back of her mind. Each piece of information in this mission had unleashed an avalanche of new unknowns, and it seemed that just about anybody knew more about her family affairs than she did. Suddenly she felt very tired of the uncertainties and doubts. She wished it was all over and that she could return to her normal dissat dissatisfied routines in cramped spaces. <laughs> I've read some of the dialogue wrong. <laughs> Surprise, I was doing that last video as well, sorry. But um, I really like this, mm -hmm. regardless of my... Huh? <laughs> what's, <laughs> what's that, Shaggy? <laughs> you know. <laughs> Raggy. Uh, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, one sort of overarching uh, thought or question I have about this chapter and, and the previous one is uh, uh, regarding uh, Joel's inner thought uh, stuff like should I should I put anything or should I present anything as inner thought in these two chapters because since these two chapters depict the two of them going back and forth uh, then the distance like the viewing distance is is slightly it's it's like one step farther away than in the in yeah, yeah uh, like we we are looking from one step farther distance than we are when jewel is alone so it's almost like we can't hear what she's thinking <laughs> so that's that's like in in certain places it feels as if it's like i could i could make something shorter by, for example, suddenly she felt felt very tired of the uncertainties and doubts. Like I could, I could make it all into a snappish thought line, but all of a sudden it doesn't seem to fit here. I, I really like the thought stuff, and mm -hmm. because we've had it for a majority of the book up and up until potentially this point, mm -hmm. I think these chapters would lose something not having that view. But I do get what you're saying. It's like. Because there's the two of them, we're not just with Jewel anymore. Mm -hmm. We're not in her sort of. So. Also, when uh, mm, in chapter tw twelve, no, eleven, no, ten, <laughs> with with Rainy. Yeah. Yeah. When when there was dialogue with Rainy, 
then there wasn't as much of the inner thought stuff either. Then there was like only only the part of dialogue that she didn't say out loud. It's like oh you rebel you. <laughs> <laughs> like so only only smaller stuff, so so this might work here as well. I don't know, but again, uh, since this is dialogue heavy, I need to think about it basically. So, if we get rid of it, we and this is from a, a purely systematic point of view, we lose one of our tools for these chapters. Uh, no, but that's that's the thing. Uh, it's not about losing the tool, it's about choosing whether to implement it or not. Like, right. like it's about whether this tool is appropriate here. And later on, uh, in at least... Uh, I think 14... Yeah, so it, it will return. Hmm. So in the later chapters, there, there, there will be more, more inner thoughts again, especially sixteen when she's uh, roaming around the <laughs> ship. <laughs> yeah. So I, I will, I will definitely, uh, I will definitely uh, make like a double check for this. But that's that was the thing. Like my first instinct was to immediately introduce some inner thoughts, and then I, then I read these paragraphs over, and I was like. Yeah, but it wouldn't really, would it really work here? Mm. So definitely anyway, something to consider. Yeah, exactly. Okay, where are we now? Do, 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 do. Assist the bot, cramped spaces. Yes. Okay. Uh, I will write myself a note because I am a cool fish brain and can't remember shit. <laughs> You're in good company. <laughs> okay, okay. What was it Chris said yesterday? So like, oh, I'm saying I think it was oh, I'm saying something and I'm making an ass of myself. I almost said it's all right, you're in good company then as well. But uh, that would have been like the three of us, not just me. Uh, and I didn't want to be like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Right, uh, I'm going to continue reading. Okay. The timer chirps via data bit. Da I'm going to try that again. Ba -ba -ba. Uh, also, uh, th this is not a complete sentence. There are notes in there. So just just say timer chirps right now. Oh, okay. Right, got you. Yeah, because uh, I was uh, I was trying to work in here what exactly is the means of giving them the timer and I thought that she would probably have it uh, have the timer running on her data pad but mm -hmm. I haven't uh, completed the sentence accordingly yet so the timer chirps brought Jewel back to reality their quarantine had ended after navigating through the endless splitting hallways almost without any wrong turns they made it into a processing hub where a drone voiced clerk informed Jewel that her guns would be held in port storage because she lacked the clearance grade required to carry personal firearms on central homeworld surface and for once paying extra would not change that after some more hallways and disorienting announcement panels they caught a gust of fresh air and saw the natural daylight shining on the ground and saw the natural daylight shining on the ground speeder platforms ahead Jewel headed to the nearest terminal and tapped their ride code in Oh, ride code. I like that. That's, you know, very good. <laughs> so I will remove ground from here. Speeder platforms. Duh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lack the clearance grade required to carry personal firearms on central homeworld surface. Yeah, I need to work on that one. Also, I might change firearms to something more vague. Mm. Because it's not just she has different kind of different kind of weapons, personal weapons. Lack the clearance grade required 
what your weapons carry on blah blah, blah. so basically the, the the thing here is that it's supposed to sound like very official and clunky but at the same time it has to read smooth enough so mm. you you get my drift yeah this <laughs> i noticed it in uh, in the previous chapter as well is that the end of the chapter gets sort of clunkier and roar like the <laughs> the beginning has been combed through more and the beginning is sort of feels fresher and at the end you can sort of you can pretty much uh, guess where pinpoint where i have uh, tired <laughs> <laughs> Okay, carry on. The speeder hatch sealed them into a private little haven of quiet and sandal scent. Only a control screen pinged softly, awaiting for input. Jewel inserted their destination and the screen displayed a cobweb of speeder lines and waypoint suggestions over stylized landscape. She looked up. Seen it, Groot? Fortune smiled and nodded. Carry on. The speed is... Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. Okay. Uh, just a second, I know how to... ...reconcile this. Oop. The speeder strip carried them over misty forested hills and across glow dome fields. Farther ahead, they saw the termite mounds cluster of city structures emerging from diffused daylight. These mounds gradually gained... These mounds gradually gained texture as they drew closer, until the human scale engineering upon them became visible. Without a warning, the daylight withdrew into a shy halo somewhere above. The speeder had reached a gap between the outer base mounds, granting them a, gl granting them a glimpse of the city underlayers, filled with pedestrians, pushcarts, and peddlers. Green luminescent film clung to the windows. Down here, the air trail air treatment algae grew in such abundance they became visible as ever-present mist and the faint fertile odor creeped in through the filters they slowly curved towards the sky and then were out of the mist zipping past some premium private hovercraft all the way to the next mound the speeder began a vertical climb towards a district of stacked terraces and guarded abodes with the black backsides fused with the city understructure Way off the highest rise estates, but with enough natural light and open air, Jewel had to admit she'd missed that view. The speeder docked with a maintenance platform and the console chirped softly. That's it, Jewel rose and stretched. I hope you don't mind a little walk. <laughs> I could have read that better, I think I was, I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I think I will be able to smooth out the, the sentences a little bit here and there. Like, um, I'm mostly happy with it, but uh, I can see where I can switch uh, some words around to make it flow smoother and to sort of simulate the whole ride. Also, grow, dro grow domes, not glow domes. <laughs> grow Just dome fields. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> Why did I say glow? I don't know. There was a 2-2 two -two in there somewhere that really threw me off. <laughs> oh, no, there it is. Where? Damn you! I was doing uh, so and, well and, and then my confidence <laughs> was knocked. There you go. Got rid uh, of it. For example, here I can... I can immediately fix one thing. Now that I had trouble with the becoming visible part mm -hmm. while writing this. Without a warning, could just become without warning, the daylight withdrew into oh, okay. a shy.
And there's a couple of instances where it's like the speeder began a vertical climb. In some instances, I think here, it makes sense mm -hmm. to say it began doing something because... But I am aware of that in my other work. Mm -hmm. God forbid I ever write a sentence <laughs> that's like, they slowly started to... Oh, God. <laughs> uh, to almost... Uh... <laughs> They slowly started to almost no. Oh my god, if I ever write that <laughs> sentence we've hit I've hit a new low. <laughs> Spanking imminent. <laughs> <laughs> Bang Okay. Uh yeah, so with these uh what's this? Uh twelve and thirteen, with both of these, it's basically uh, sentence combing and fine tuning and uh, and yeah sort of getting the vibes yeah <laughs> especially good, at the end of vibes, the chapter <laughs> <laughs> but basically my task is clear I love the imagery of the last paragraph especially because of like mm -hmm. the you you can the daylight t withdrew to a shot a halo and the the luminescent film clinging to windows that is so easy to imagine you know <laughs> but it's it's also foreign it's mm -hmm. it's but it's foreign enough but it's also so familiar does does that make sense? <laughs> i hope that makes sense those things are totally opposite dave <laughs> okay yes sweet Try this sentence now. The speeder, the speeder began a vertical climb towards the district of stacked terraces and guarded abodes, with their backsides fused into the city on the structure. Way off the highest rise states, but with enough natural data. Da, 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 da. So I, I changed some some connective words here. Yeah, the I, speeder I think. Uh, I think I think uh, some of the stumbling uh, bits are just grammar uh, solvable with the, with a little bit better grammar. Yeah. The speeder began a vertical climb towards the district of stacked terraces and guarded abodes, with their backsides fused into the city understructure, way off the highest rise estates, but with enough natural light and open air. Jewel had to admit she'd missed that view. Much cleaner. Mm -hmm. Well, I've remembered how to read. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that's that's the difference between kind of okay grammar and good grammar is that mm -hmm. if you focus well enough, then you can make it work either way. It's just that uh, if it's more polished, then it's uh, then it's easier to read, even if you then you don't have to you know grind as hard to to. <laughs> make it make sense nice one all right well i'll wrap this one up yes thank you very much for watching guys <laughs> thank you we'll catch we, you soon we are drawing to a close four more chapters to go i think yeah so. i think so yeah Stay this, tuned. Th this is 13 isn't it yeah yeah oh yeah okay sweet see you soon Bye!